Hello, hello, this is Kim from Farmhouse Craftaholics. If you're watching this now, you're probably watching the replay. Any links I mention, if they're still available, it's over at farmhousecraftaholics.com. All right, if it's not available, sorry, because sometimes these videos stay up for like a year. Like you'd be surprised how long some of my videos have been running for. I have a bow video that's been running for two years now. <laughs> it's being seen by over a million people. Oh my gosh, simple, simple bows, right? So I'm gonna paint a birdhouse today. Hubby made me this cute little, hello Mitzi, made me this cute little birdhouse and I'm going to give it a little bit of a farmhouse look because that's what we, how we roll. Okay, let me just, I want to see the comments over there. All right, so if I mention any, any um, links, they're going to be down below. There's a link down below from housecraftaholics.com. I keep everything right on that page so you just go there and if I mentioned it and it's still available, which it will be right now because they're live, um, then awesome, right? Head on over there. And if I forget and I forget to mention it again, oh well, well, that's crafting in Facebook land. <laughs> hey, I'm a crafter. I'm not really super techie. So, hey, Lori. Hey, how are you, girly? Um, so I'm painting a birdhouse today because I'm feeling a little springy. So actually, this is a two-part project, but the first part I'm going to show you guys I'm going to give you a technique for painting on here and then I'm going to be using this in the craft club later on um, maybe next uh, March or April April I think uh, this will be going into the craft club and I'll be actually up leveling it some more so uh, I have a craft private craft club that's a membership and Lori was a member um, so anyway I, I'm going to be painting this now and then later on in the future I will be using it for a project I have planned for the craft club, which is going to be even more awesomeness, right? So, how is everybody doing today? I am just going to hang out and paint, chat with you guys, and maybe you'll pick up a few things, maybe you'll learn a thing or two. I will try and answer questions as I'm going along if I see it, but when my head's down painting, I can't see the questions, <laughs> right? Because I don't contrary to popular opinion remember when we used to tell our kids we had eyes in the back of your head i do not these are not eyes up here i can't see that while i'm working down here so i want to make this look like a um, barn board that's what i'm going for so bobby this is for you bobby gihan jihan uh you asked me about mixing chalk paint and acrylic paint and i said yes you can and here we go right so i want to make some gray paint this might be fairly old, and I probably didn't need anywhere near that amount of black, but that's okay. I have more uses for the black as well. I want to make sure I have enough paint for my paint job so I don't have to do it twice. And I'm not super mixing it up, okay? I want it to be a bit streaky. That's just going to help with the vibe. So it's okay if I don't have it all totally mixed. We'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to have to put my glasses on. I should probably get contacts, right? Although they drive my eyes crazy. Does anybody else have this problem with contacts? I did get them a few years ago. Now I have astigmatism in my eye. I guess the eye shape is, is different, right? Um, anyway... Yeah, Lori, my, my hubby made that birdhouse for me. So he's, he's dying to do some woodworking, right? So he's like, he misses my paint parties because I used to have him making all the signs for the paint parties. And he's like, I'm kind of missing that. Like, you know, can I make some stuff for you? I was like, okay, if you must, right? I'll paint it, you make it. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Okay, so, um, yeah, so eyes, astigmatism. I have an astigmatism in my, I guess, both eyes, right? And um, the problem is, when I got contacts, this is a number of years ago, I found that they made my eyes just crazy. Like, I would be in the mall, or, I mean, I haven't been to the mall lately, but places like that, and my eyes would just feel so, so, so dry. I could not stand them. First, it took me a long time to figure out how to put them in. Like, <laughs> putting things in your eyes when you haven't done it for 40-something years, it's not a not an easy thing right so I had first to figure out how to get them in so I finally figured out how to get them in I got the ones that lasted all day you had to take them out at the end of the day they weren't hard they were soft right which I thought would be better and oh man I just struggled 
right? So I finally gave up on them and just went back to glasses because I'm, I'm a girl that loves simple solutions, right? The simpler the better, glasses did the trick. So I just thought, okay, glasses it is then, guys, because I just can't make this work. All right, so I'm just... I paint with my hands too, guys, so if that, that <laughs> offends you, well, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> so, here we go. We're, can you see I don't have it all perfect? I've got some white mixed in there, and there's some gray. That's okay. All right, I'm going to actually do this as well. And I know you want me to paint the back. <laughs> I totally understand. I don't usually paint the backs of things. It's like painting the back of the sign, right? I'm not like, I don't think about that. So again, totally whatever floats your boat, right? So I will paint it because I know it'll drive some people crazy. So this is for you, right? I totally am fine with it not being done on the back, but since I'm here, we have the paint, we have enough, I'm gonna do it. All right, let's get that. Isn't this cute? Put a little ledge on it. Now, he, he I asked him not to put a hole in it, though he could have, because it would totally be a birdhouse. I'm not going to put it outside. It's going to just be decorative, right? So uh, let's get this where I can see it, over here. So if anybody knows if contacts have improved for astigmatism, soft lenses, or if I need hard lenses, uh, um, maybe that's what I need then let me know because I'm, it would be great on Facebook if I didn't have to use glasses because here's what, let me show you what happens. Can you see the glare? So I have to mess around with my glasses and they are really dirty. So there we go. But I want to be able to see what I'm doing too. It's kind of important, right? So I'm going to paint the roof black. It might not take me as long as I thought it was going to. I thought it might take a while. But I know people love to watch painting. Hey Rosie, hey Donna, how are you? Janet. Uh, so, yeah, this is a craft and chat kind of thing. I'm just going to paint this birdhouse. Maybe you'll get some ideas. And like I say, I'm going to be using this um, uh, when I, I'm going to take it to craft club in, um, let me see, what are we now? I think it's April. I have it scheduled for April. So I'm painting it now here, because why not, right? But in April, I will be up-leveling it, um, adding a whole new bunch of things to it that are strictly for the people in the craft club. So the craft club is a private membership. Like I say, if you want to find out about it, it's $21 a month. Every month we do a printable project, a craft project, a paint project, and a guest speaker, guest teacher, stupid phone. Oh, no, Lori, what's happening to your stupid phone? Um, you can always watch the replay, guys. If, if Sometimes my phone's not working. Sometimes your phone's not working. But replay is great. I love it. Um, now, let's see. Uh, craft Club, sorry. Farmhousecraftaholics.com slash craft club or just go to farmhousecraftaholics.com and you'll find the link over there. All the links to all the things I have and do are always there, so you can find them easily. I'm not gonna paint the bottom of this, guys. That's a bridge too far for me. And I have some more paint in here. Now, I, you'll notice I don't dip into my container, okay? I scoop paint out somewhere and use that. And that's because I don't want to contaminate my paint, especially if you've paid good money for like chalk paint or something. You do not, I do not, you can do what you like. I do not want to possibly contaminate it and I've seen it happen. All right, Ugh. did I think this through? Probably not. I'm gonna have to dry that gray first. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a better brush than this. So, what will happen in the craft club is I will put this video, they get all my Facebook lives over there, um, organized and um, transcribed so that they can search through them and they can search through whatever um, 
they're interested in knowing about. So if I say birdhouse, spring birdhouse, they can search for spring birdhouse and it will pop up right where I said the word spring birdhouse. So they get that and that, so I'm gonna um, have that project, this part will be the first part of it. And then when I do the second part, and thinking April, then they will be able to put the two together. Now let's see if I can get this. I have to stop talking for a minute so I can concentrate. I'm notoriously bad for stopping talking when I'm painting. It's just such a therapeutic thing. That's something I did want to talk about. Okay, I know with all the craziness in the world today, and there is a lot of craziness in the world today, ask me, um, that it seems, you know, maybe not so important to be crafting on Facebook, right? And, and painting birdhouses or whatever we crafters are doing. All right. And you might think that, and I, I totally could understand why you might. Okay. But here's my thing guys. And this is, this is how I feel about it. Okay. Um, with all the crazy that's going on in the world and has been and continues to, okay. There's, we need space where we can just go and we can just kind of get away from it for a few minutes in our minds right and that's what creating creating and crafting does right or painting or however look at the glasses they're driving me crazy um what it does it just like I, when i paint it's, i'm notoriously bad for like i say stopping and just you know just totally like zoning out and forgetting about you guys completely because i'm just in the zone and that's like in the moment and that's a place where you everybody loves that spot that's why we create so i continue to do this because if one or two people will grab a piece of wood and just paint something and be able to get it, you know, in their mind, calm and relaxed and in that Zen space for just a little while every day um, and, and push the cares of the world away for a few minutes, it's not going to go away forever. Like it's the crazy that's going on there is crazy, right? But if you can just find a space for yourself. Right? This is why I do this. Right? This is why I create. This is why I, I share with you guys so that you can do it too. Right? So that's why I'm on here today or you know whatever days I come on or post videos for you guys. And this is really, I'm going to have to let this dry. Um, and that's why I'm on here. It's a little bit that I can help with the world. I can make the world a little bit better. I can make the world for you maybe a tiny bit better for a few minutes a day. Uh, even if I just entertain you, watching me and entertain you, pfft, I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't mind being a little bit of a clown, um, as you have seen if you've watched me. But that's why I'm here, guys. That's why I create, and I'm pretty sure that's why most of the other creators are on here doing what they do. We want you, we want you to experience that peace, you know, that little bit of peace that you can get, that little bit of um, zen. And, and it might be painting, it might be decoupaging, it might be woodworking, it might be a million other things, okay? But that's why I'm here and that's why I know a lot of the crafters that are out there are doing what we do. It's how we can bring a little joy and peace and good something good to our world, especially our crazy world as it's been, right? Um, so there's my little soapbox. If that's, if you feel that that's, you know, that, you know, crafting on Facebook during these crazy times is not for you, then I'm definitely not the page for you, right? Because I just, I know that this is how I find a place where my mind can just be calm and a lot of creativity and a lot of good things happen while I'm doing that. So um, that's why I do it and I hope that you do too, right? So let's just dry this off so I can get on to the fun part. Got an old gift card or credit card? We're gonna need it, okay? Coming up. Good morning, Loretta. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Renee. 
or afternoon, wherever you happen to be. I guess it wouldn't be afternoon unless you're like in Europe, right? Or, and in Australia, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> well, no, it's 10 o'clock at night in Australia, I guess. So, all right, good evening to you in Australia. Hey Diane, how are you? Everybody is well? Mm. Alright, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more while I do... I'm going to do a little bit to the roof. So I'm going to take a white brush. No, a white brush. A chip brush. Home Depot cheap as chips brush. Okay, And I'm going to need another bit of paint. Hang on a second, guys. Well, I thought I'd stay at the table all the time. I'm always trying. Love birdhouses. Yeah, they're sweet, eh? So you can, can't have too many of them. Even if it's just a decorative one for in the house. I actually have, this is kind of when my husband built the model off of, and it was, um, so I'm just putting some white paint on there. Uh, and then I'm rubbing it off on my old towel that you, if you know me, you know why I have this here, right? Check it out. Whoops, look how fast that ages that, right? So. I love these brushes, they're like the best. Check it out. Now this, oh, it's so easy, right? First one was with a milk carton. Ooh, I'd love to see that. That'd be cool. Recycle, reuse, right, absolutely. Pretty simple, right, dry brush? Mm. Hit this part up too. Now you can leave the roof black, right? I'm gonna get crazy and do some of the gray too. Let's go nuts, right? Now you can see that it's already sort of variegated because I didn't mix that paint up really um, a lot, but I can still, I love these brushes. They do the best um, farmhouse barn board look. See how fast that happens with just, I haven't changed the brush. I haven't added more paint. I've, it was really dry. I know you can't see what I'm doing here. I'm, put this to the side. Let me see if I can do it on this one. You just have to be able to go with it though because it's going to do what it wants. Now if it gets, if it got like you thought, oh I put too much on there, I don't think that. But if you think that, I like the dry brush look too. And wait, it's going to get better. Um, I just think it just adds that age, right? But if you thought, oh I added too much white somehow, then you can go back into your gray, paint over it, let it dry go again. That's what I love about paint. It never, it never um, is permanent. It's not a tattoo, right? You can change it. Yes, Donna, right? Oh, you like the barn board look? Donna, this is going to be in the craft club in April and I'm going to be adding more to it, right? So this is just the beginning. This is just the, the base. So I'm doing this and then you guys will have this in the farmhouse craft or yeah, in the uh, hub, the searchy hub. And then I will take this and I'm going to, I got plans, girl. I got plans for this. So I'm so excited about it. All right, so I think we're good with that. Yeah, all right. Now, I am a Canadian, but I do visit, when you can, Florida, and I have a Walgreens card, but this is pretty expired, right? So old gift card, old um, Tim Hortons if you're in Canada, uh, you name it. And I'm going to, we're gonna see, I think I'm gonna need some black paint on here. So brush gone. Now this is just um, Michael's, Michael's Chalk Paint, Art Minds. That's their brand, Art Minds. It's pretty good. I like their stuff. Yeah. Now, Julie, 
<laughs> Julie, Julie, Julie over at Red Apron Refresh Designs, right? Um, you got to go check her out. I'm a messy painter too. It's not in my hair yet, but give it time. We're not there yet, okay? I'm going to take my card. I'm going to run it through there, okay? So you can see I have, let's see if I can show you. Black paint on the bottom. Let's see. There we go. Okay, can you see that? I'm going to just use that. To give me some now I'm playing around now I'm just check it out see what's happening there we're getting this sort of barn board look. I'm playing in the gray and the black. Paint off my fingers. There's a reason why I wear an apron, guys. See what's happening there? All of a sudden, we've moved up to barn board. So I want to get some up here. There we go. What do you think? Does it look like barn board? Hey, Teresa, how you doing, girl? You guys have seen this. You've seen me do this before, right? So I've done it in other projects. Uh, so I'm just going to... Again, these don't have to be perfect because you want it to look like it's been around the block for a while. They don't have to be perfectly straight. Here we go. See that? Oh, thanks for the hearts, you guys. I love that. I look up and I see the hearts. All right, so there we go. I might tone this down a little bit. Just give me a minute. I'm never quite finished, right? So I'm just going into the black. I only want it on the edge, right? Uh, let's check out this side. Again, if you find that you did, you're like, ah, I really don't like that one, you wait till it's dry, or you dry it, and then you paint over it, start again. But that's a good experience, guys. If you have to start again, it's not bad, it just means you're learning something. So there we go. There's the, the wood. Wouldn't this look cute in red, too, as a barn? I think it would. What do we think of that? All right, there's a spot there I think I'm gonna fix up. Just cause it's not making me happy. Where did I get the birdhouse? My hubby made it for me. He's dying to do some woodworking projects, so I finally gave him some marching orders and said, hey, can you do me a few things that I can paint? So. But you could find them at, uh, maybe not like exactly like this, but dollar stores, uh, Hobby Lobby, any place. Right? I'm just giving you an idea to inspire you. If we lived in the States, we'd be shipping them out. But shipping from Canada gets pricey. So, unfortunately for you guys, because he'd love to do that. Um, all right, so we have that. So now I'm like, okay, I'm not really super crazy about a couple of marks there, so I'm going to grab another, I'm going to just grab a round brush, hit that gray paint again, and just brush over it. And then I'm going to add a few 
marks just to make it match. And then I need my dry brush back or a different dry brush since I put that one in the water. Just to blend it. Nothing about paint is permanent until it's dry and even then you can paint over it, right? So don't don't ever be afraid. Paint's a great medium to teach you. I love it. I love paint. All right, so I'm going to tone down the black a little bit. I think the black's a bit stark, all right? So I'm literally going to take another brush and do the dry brush technique over it with some white. Let's see if very, very, like hardly at all, no pressure. And let's see what we think of that. See how it just tones it down a little bit? All right, so I'm going to do that. That's making me happy. It's funny because you know what it is it's what I see in here is what I'm trying to get out right you guys have no idea what that is but I know what it is and that's the thing that makes us unhappy when we craft it's like um, I know what I, I see in my mind and you, I'm not seeing it on here well I am but but that's generally why we're frustrated with something we're like Ugh, it's just not quite there yet What do we think of that? Mm. I'm kind of liking it now. There we go. All right, see so far, so I might need, this is where it gets like, you go back and forth, back and forth, so. I'm gonna mix some gray and some white together to make a lighter gray. But don't, don't drive yourself crazy. If you're enjoying the process, keep going. If you're getting frustrated, Walk away for a while. Come back later. Yeah, I'm liking it. So far, so good, right? So, uh, let me see. I want to dry brush this a little bit. I forgot about it. step I think and then we'll be done for the day I'm just getting most of the white paint right on the edge there can you see that and now I'm gonna dry brush this down it's just toning it down a little bit that's all it is right with the white Maybe a touch of gray, just a teensy bit. Dry brush though, or you're gonna wind up painting it right over. <laughs> then you start again, right? And you call it a lesson. You call it a learning curve. You never ever lose, to my mind, when you try something and it doesn't work. I mean, as a businesswoman, I am constantly trying things and they don't work, but we test. We test, we test, we test. That's how we find things out. Yeah, there we go. See that? Just toned it down a bit. Uh, thank you for the hearts. 
Makes you want to paint another sunflower. Hey, Teresa, uh, where is it? Right back here. You absolutely should, especially right now with all that's going on. Hang on. Teresa's talking about this. This is inside the craft club, right? And that is actually the same technique for the barn board in the back, except for the edges there. All right, that's what we used. But then we painted the sunflower. So there we go. Thanks, Lorna. Um, yeah, my husband made me the birdhouse. This I'm going to be using. Now, you guys at the craft club, run out and grab yourself some birdhouses because you're going to be painting this. And then in the craft club in, mm, I think it's April. I think birdhouses are up for April. Um, I'm going to be up leveling it. And so now I'm going to take a Dixie cup. Is that, do they call them that anymore or is it something else? And I'm going to figure out if I'm on the center. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see this. I'm going to have to mark this pretty well. Okay, so can you see, I just, I don't know if you can see, oh, there it is, oh, yeah, there it is, okay. That's going to be my hole for my birdhouse. I could make it smaller, I guess. I could do that. Nah, I'm going to stick with the, what I started. You can take these and use these for, for polka dots. They're great. It's the only thing I like them for, right? The only thing I like them for. All right, if I stop talking, you know why. Voila. That's French for, there you go, in case you don't speak French. I do a little bit. Second coat's always easier. You don't need to be as precise as that first one. The concentration is real, guys. Now my bird hole isn't round, and, well, perfectly round, but that's okay, because when you, if you have birds or squirrels living in these things, they always peck at the hole and chew at it, and it's not perfectly round then. But now it's going to drive me crazy. All right, let me just get some gray paint. We can fix it. Let's just have a look. It's only one tiny little spot. So I think I'm good. Yep. All right. Know when to stop, right? There we go. Didn't that turn out cute compared to what it was? Right? So I th actually think I'm going to paint some more black in on the roof to make it look a little... Darker. I think I might have gone too far with the the white on there. It needs something to just kind of give it to ground it, right? Like to make it. They say every outfit 
every room, every craft project can benefit from a little bit of black. There we go. Makes a difference, doesn't it? So let's get you in there. Boom. Boom. Bam. There we go. All right. So I think it turned out pretty well. I'm going to get my glasses off here so I can get a good picture. All right. I think it turned out really well. I hope you enjoyed it. What's the name of the oh, hang on. brush used to base coat the birdhouse? Chip brush. Or, um, hang on. I'll go grab one. Let me just show you. It's this. I buy them by the pack of like 10 or 15 at Home Depot over in the painting section. All right. So um, I call it a chip brush. I think that's what, the, what its actual name is. But if not, it's the really scruffy looking like. And these hairs love to fall out. Just so you know, that's part of the deal. Right. You'll find them in your project. <laughs> that is how it goes. So there you go, guys. Super cute little birdhouse. And like I say, I will be touching something up. Um, I will be using this in the craft club in April so that I can, I've got plans for it uh, to up level it even further, make it even super cuter. So, all right guys, um, hope you enjoy it. Have a great day and get out there and paint. All right, because it's, it's so therapeutic. It makes you, just gives your mind a good place to go and hang on to instead of uh, thinking about all the crazy things. So, um, I hope I bring a little bit of joy to your day. Bye now.